the demons in your blood. The demons in your blood. Let's look at a few texts in scripture. In 1 Kings chapter 11, we begin to read about King Solomon. The demons in your blood. 1 Kings chapter 11, I begin to read from verse 1. 1 Kings 11, 1. And follow me very carefully. But King Solomon loved many strange women. Together with the daughters of Pharaoh, women of Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Etites. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. But Solomon cleaved unto these in love. And he had seven hundred wives princesses and three hundred concubines making one thousand and his wife turned away his heart for it came to pass when Solomon was old that his wife turned away his heart after other gods and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God as was the heart of David his father there is a demon in the blood of Solomon that runs after strange women David his father killed a man to steal his wife in spite of the many wives he had in the palace there was a demon in the blood of David that now transferred to Solomon it will appear as if when that demon got to Solomon it multiplied in power Solomon had a son his name was Rehoboam let us look at Rehoboam the son of Solomon in 2nd Chronicles chapter 11 verse 21 2nd Chronicles 11 21 this is the son of Solomon and Rehoboam loved Maka, the daughter of Absalom, above all his wives and his concubines. For he took 18 wives and three score concubines and begat 20 and eight sons and three score daughters that was Rehoboam the son of Solomon Rehoboam had a son called Abijah in the same second chronicles chapter 13 verse 21 second chronicles 13 21 
But Habiga works mighty. I married 14 wives and begat 20 and two sons and 16 daughters. And this went on like that. We now read a very interesting verse in Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. Leviticus 17 11. Listen to this scripture very well. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I've given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh atonement for the soul. The Bible makes it very clear that life of the flesh is in the blood. It's inside that blood that the breath of life that God breathed unto us resides. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 4 now makes some, something that looks like a simple statement but it's not simple. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 4 Hebrews 12 4 says this ye have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin ye have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin meaning that the terminal level the termination level of striving against sin is at the blood level at the blood level when you want to fight a conclusive warfare against sin you fight it to the blood level you fight it to the level where you don't mind whether the, your blood is being shed like Jesus prayed at the garden of Gethsemane so fighting to the blood level is a conclusive battle the terminal level so we are born of the blood we exist by that blood and we will cease to exist the day that blood stops flowing in our veins so technically and spiritually your destiny is in your blood your unknown past can be traced through your blood. Those of you who know about medicine, you know that when they collect somebody's blood and take it to the laboratory, that blood can reveal so many things about you. That's just that blood. Your unknown past can be traced through that blood. So it is this blood that makes children pay for the sins of their parents and ancestors. In every blood, spiritually, there is commitment and dedication to the ancestors in every blood. 
In that blood resides the demons assigned to fulfill every laid down arrangements by the ancestors. So don't be surprised if you hear that they threw a spear at the side of Jesus and blood and water came out. There's something about that blood. Don't be surprised that Jesus had to shed that blood for the remission of sins. All the documentations about ancestral transfer of evil things is stored in the blood. What I'm telling you now is an issue that has not been adequately addressed. The life of every living thing is in that blood. Your blood is a liquid that is a living, it's a living liquid. Everyone inherits his or ancestor's blood. Everyone is related to the past through the blood. You are what your ancestors are by the blood. Human life destiny, problems, afflictions, they are in the blood. Many don't understand when we call prayer points. Every poison in my blood, dry up. So the initiator of trouble in any family line, they share the same blood with those ones who are following them, the descendants. What I'm trying to explain to you, and I'm saying it slowly, that ancestral demons, they inhabit the blood, thus making offspring to acquire the problems inherited in the blood of the ancestors. Many complain about weird dreams about dead relatives, family members. Little did they know that the video players playing those things inside the blood. That's why it keeps going on and on. You don't understand why it's not stopping. It's not stopping because it's in the blood and you didn't know it's in the blood. So you, you did not address the blood so it remains there. So everyone harboring ancestral demons is having demons invested in his or blood. Now to overcome demons in the blood requires strong anointing and the power of the word of God and strong prayers. Because you, must, you may be moving about, but your blood may be your worst enemy. The blood of Jesus speaks good things. Your blood may not be speaking in your favor because of the documents your ancestors put there. This is a serious matter. You need the Holy Spirit to open your ears and understanding to what your blood is actually saying. Because your life is inside the blood you inherited, you are a partaker of every ancestral problem put inside it. Every evil covenant, every evil allegiance made by ancestors are registered in the blood and inheritable by offsprings. That songwriter 
Christians. Holy Christians. Seek not your repose. Hear yeah, your guidance, angels. Thou art in the midst of fools. Watch and pray. So watch as if on that alone lies the issue of the day. Ambush lies the evil one. Ambush lies the evil one. So watch and pray. So, so they are waiting for your unguarded hour. This may sound strange to you. The largest waiting room of the enemy is in the blood. Say that blood. Be watching. Be watching. You know, the appropriate time. It strikes. And the person does not understand what is going on. What I'm saying this morning is this. Many of us think that majority of our enemies are outside. Not known that they are already in the blood, they're just waiting. So many is prayer that is suppressing them. suppressing them. But suppressing prayer is different from deliverance prayers. Suppressing prayers is different from killing prayers. Suppressing prayer is different from elimination prayer. I'm praying for somebody gathered here today. Every power that is inside your blood that is not cooperating with your destiny. We take time for the man. They must depart today in the name of Jesus. Oh, you see, God is a kind God. He doesn't like to leave us in darkness. God may be speaking to you. And you may not understand. The Bible says hearing they will hear, they will not understand. But God is very kind. So once you begin to have horrible dreams, particularly about death, as a demon in your blood. Unexplainable demotion. It's a demon in your blood. You are always in and out of hospitals. As a demon, you need to evacuate from that blood. You are making unpardonable errors. Constant arrows of miscarriage. From one surgery to the other, another surgery, from one surgery to the other, just cutting you up, cutting you up, cutting you up. There's a demon in that blood. The smell of death coming on, upon people. All these chains of family death, what is killing them is in that blood. Repeated failures in spite of hard preparation. The blood circulating serpents which has gone to the increase now. People complain of things moving about, moving about in their bodies. It is when those things get inside the brain sometimes that trouble starts. Person becomes insane. That's ten times to the brain. And that wise, no drugs can help. The serpent that has ten times to the brain ought to be removed from that brain. Some witness unseen fire burning their body as if their body is on fire. What is setting the body on fire is the blood. Constant marital failure, constant loss of money, they are all in the blood. Inability to sustain a good thing for a long time is a blood matter. Horrible nightmares. Demonic dreams. Strange voices constant attack of 
blood infirmity. Uh, some people now every month they are having malaria. You should have suspected that something is wrong with the blood. Ma ma malaria is a blood disease. Many have difficulty in receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's because there is a voice in that blood. Holy Spirit, we don't want you here. We don't want you in this body. Don't come here. The blood. The blood. The prayers for this kind of thing is so aggressive and needs serious concentration needs special anointing that's how we're going to wait it's after you have anointed yourself with the oil of today then we're going to pray 14 prayers this it's like you want to go and plant yam in a forest. You want to plant potatoes in the forest. You are clearing the bush. Without clearing that bush, you want to plant may not grow well. So today you need to completely surrender your life to Jesus. You need to repent before the Lord. You need to wage war against these ancestral powers that are in your blood. All the like father, like son, like mother, like daughter, but it's the blood. You need to withdraw your blood from ancestral demons. You need to use the blood of Jesus to destroy any satanic investment in your blood. And that is the section we are going very soon. In this segment of the family deliverance program, we have been running for three sessions now. Please rise to your feet now. Yok breaker! Jesus Christ! Break my yoke now! In the name of Jesus!
Jesus name we pray raise up your right hand to the heavens and say this with holy assurance say every negative pattern flowing in my family tree be arrested by the blood of Jesus say every cryptic demon and ancient dedications troubling my family life vanish in the name of Jesus Oh heavens, oh, heavens. Over the prosperity of my family. Oh, Open by fire. In the name of Jesus. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. To be an extension. Of any failure of my father's house. In the name of Jesus, say the iniquity that swallowed my parents will not swallow me in the name of Jesus. A loud amen, a louder amen, a louder amen. Say this loud and clear now and pray this prayer with fire and with power power sir that punish my parents I am not your candidate can I hear you shouting this loud and clear I want the sisters to shout it loud let the brothers roar like thunder of Jesus name we pray please bring out your special ties and offering for this meeting father we thank you for the ties and the offering good measure present falling over let it be the lot of your children bless your children to dumbfounding degree and lay your hands of fire upon them in the mighty name of Jesus you shall prosper you shall do well no weapon form against your prosperity shall survive in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus name we pray